Hello everyone, how is it going? This is Uncle Zonka here. So what I decided to do today is a Slayer Log, because I haven't done a Slayer Log in a while, and so my task is Steel Dragons. And for the first time in a very, very long time, I'm actually able to do a Slayer Log because uh, no one is home besides me. Obviously I don't live by myself, as is uh, well documented. But anyway, before I really get started on the Slayer Log, you all know how it goes. I go through tasks, I pretty much show what task I get, I show um, the end of the task and what loot I got, and then I go on to the next task. But, uh, first of all, before we actually get fully started, I had a couple things that I wanted to address. First of all, my toe freaking hurts. Like, my toe is purple, and I've had to walk on it all day at work, and it's incredibly painful. I'm going to have to do it tomorrow as well, and I'm not looking forward to that. But, um, regardless, I'm actually wondering how you guys feel about uh, possibly some live streaming of Slayer. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do it yet, and I'm not even sure if I can do it because I even lag a little bit while recording sometimes, so I don't, don't even know if I could live stream. I might be able to on like a lower screen resolution, which means the video would be slightly lower quality, which you guys would just have to deal with. But um, yeah, if you would be interested in watching like a Slayer live stream, it would probably be around 8 p.m. Eastern or 7 p.m. Eastern. Like past dinner time, uh, U.S. Eastern time, you can obviously convert that if you don't live on the U.S. in the East. But um, I, I'm just guessing that's where the majority of the people that watch my videos live. Um, so anyway, if you'd be interested in that, please leave a comment. Um, and if a whole bunch of people are interested in that and say that they could watch around that time, um, any day of the week, it doesn't really matter. Maybe several of them if I really enjoy live streaming. Uh, but yeah, just let me know if that's something you could do, if that's something you would enjoy doing. And I'll definitely look into that and uh, try to get that set up so I can live stream some Slayer. Alright, so I am done with my Iron Dragons task. I only had 31 of them because I did about half the task before I went to work this morning. And then it was time for me to go, so I couldn't quite finish the task. But anyway, we're time to go to Curdell and see if she's going to be nice today and assign me an awesome task, such as uh, Ganodermic Beast, please, or a terrible task that we can skip because I've tons of points. Exactly. And uh, I have a bank pin, still, for some reason. Alright, I have tons of Slayer points, and I used to save these up and buy death runes, but death runes are worth, like, nothing now, so there's no point. So I have tons of points to just cancel tasks with, and it allows me to be much more lazy when doing Slayer, which I kind of enjoyed Black Dragons! Yes! And I could do QBD, but I'm not going to, because, uh... Well, I'm not completely crazy today. I'm a little bit crazy, but anyway, let's go kill some black dragons and make some bank. And also get like five visages and three effigies. That would be nice. I just figured I'd mention a quick tip for black dragons is Sign of the Porters. And I'm using Sign of the Porters 4 because they're a million times cheaper to make than the five port Sign of the Porter, and I can't quite make the Sign of the Porter 6 yet. But um, yeah, the Sign of the Porter 5 only banks five more items so 25 items compared to 20 items and it costs like 5k more to make so that's why I decided to just stick with these but anyway they bank all the black dragon hides not the black dragon bones but the black dragon hides which means you can do this entire task without banking because you kill black dragons so fast that without them you have to uh, make bank trips even with a yak because the yak is just not all that great in EOC to be completely honest but yeah watch this I'll pick up the black dragon hide oh where to go no one will ever be able to figure it out. But yeah, it magically appears in my bank somehow, and uh, that's pretty nice. Alright, and the black dragons are completed, and uh, I believe there's 74 of them, so I'm going to withdraw the loot that I got from that task, everything that I picked up at least, and price check it for your enjoyment. Alright, even though I didn't kill Queen Black Dragon, or sometimes I do King Black Dragon for this task, as you can see, it's still pretty good money just killing the regular dragons, so I got... 800k from that task. I also got some charms, but since I didn't bank the charms after the last task, I don't know exactly how many I got. But anyway, you know, considering that only takes like 20 minutes to do, 800k profit in 20 minutes is not bad at all. And I know it's 20 minutes because I drank one super anti-fire and I had like a couple minutes left. So, yep, roughly 20 minutes to do that task. All right, so let's go ahead and waste some more divination XP and get another task. Let's see what we get. Blood Velds. And I say, no, I am not doing them. I refuse. I absolutely will not. I don't like that task very much. Iron Dragons again. Hey, you know, not bad. I actually quite enjoy Iron Dragons a lot. They are awesome. 
All right, 65 Iron Dragons later, and I have finished the task. So, time to go back to Curdell, see what she has in store for us today. Please, Ganondorf Peace. I really like Ganondorf Peace. I don't know why. They're just a fun task. They're good XP. You earn a bit of money from them as well. But anyway, uh, I also earned a bit of money from this task, and I'll show that as soon as I show myself getting the new task, which is not going to be Avian Seas. I hate when she assigns that. She assigns that all the time. By the way, this is my block list. Just in case any of you are wondering, Jungle Strike Worms, Warp Tortoises, Dust Devils, Greater Demons, Spiritual Mages, Living Rock Creatures, they're all awful. I hate all of those tasks and never going to do them again. But the next assignment is going to... Oh, Steals. Thank you. Oh my goodness. I'm so happy. Curdle's been really nice, probably just because I'm recording, I guess. Alright, and these are the loots for the task. And yes, I do bank Adamant Square Shields and Adamant 2H Swords because they're worth a little bit of money. Not really sure why I bank... Adamant square shields, they're not worth a whole lot, but anyway, um, 390k, not bad for literally 15 minutes of work, because that's all it took, so I guess they're about a mil an hour, profit-wise, roughly, if you're banking the bones and all that, so not a bad task to do. Alright, so that task is over, and if we go here, hmm, 1,011 tasks in a row, not bad, I forgot to tell you guys I passed 1,000 tasks pretty recently, but anyway, kernel time. Let's see. Are you nice today? Black Demons. Uh, yeah, that's kind of a meh task. I'll do it. I don't want to do it. Well, actually, I kind of want to do it. They're, they're nice. Good Crimsons, good XP. But uh, I bank all the Infernal Ashes because I'm a tryhard like that, and that makes the task a little bit miserable. But anyway, let's pl price check the loot that we got from Steel Dragons. All right, so this should be everything we got. I did get a nice uh, Ring of Wealth drop here. Well, nice. Not really that nice. It was just Fire Talismans. I seem to get Fire and Earth Talismans a lot from Ring of Wealth, which sucks because they aren't worth very much. But anyway, as you can see, 600k, and that took under 15 minutes. So that's about 2 mil an hour killing uh, Steel Dragons. So they are very good money. Actually, all of the dragons are about 2 mil an hour, like Black Dragons, Blue Dragons, Steel Dragons. Iron Dragons are a little less, but um, all the non-Iron Dragons that Curdell assigns are about 2 mil an hour, so they're all, they're all very, very good cash. Even though Steel Dragons don't drop Dragon Hides, they drop like Rune Bars, Rune Limbs, tons of Blood Runes. Um, occasionally you can get like a Half Key and stuff, and obviously the Bones are worth a ton right now. But they drop lots and lots of Rune Items, so that really um, helps out for the fact that they don't drop Hides. And they're also very, very good Slayer XP, so yes. Yes. Alright guys, so I know I'm not very far into this task, and uh, but anyway, I gotta go. I have to go eat dinner, and then after that I have to uh, watch some Sports Center, and then I have to go to bed, because I have work in the AM. But anyway, um, thanks for watching the video. I apologize that it's not the longest Slayer Log, it's just that um, I kind of have a busy schedule, and it's only going to get busier because I have college classes starting in January, which I'm really not looking forward to, because there goes like 90... 9% of the time that I currently play RS instead devoted towards school. But anyway, um, yeah, thanks for watching the video. I guess I could do another Slayer Log sometime soon. Um, it's just I have work, so I can't really be on for all that much every day. But uh, hopefully you guys understand. So just let me know if you want me to do some live streaming. I don't know if that's going to work out or not because I just don't know um, if my computer hardware can handle it. Again, I can. Sometimes I even lag. Um, when recording in this definition, 720p. Sometimes I don't lag, sometimes I do. It just really depends on my computer. But um, anyway, uh, if you guys are interested, you know, around 8 p.m. Eastern, U.S. that time, if you are interested in me attempting to live stream a bit of Slayer, then uh, yeah, I'll, I'll see if I can get that set up, and I'll try my best. But anyway, um, that's about all for this video. Thanks, guys, for watching. Uh, stay tuned for future videos, and yeah, God bless.